Hey yo, my name is Matt, AKA at Amusing King, and today we are doing a toy photography BTS walkthrough of this clone trooper portrait that I shot. So sometimes when I'm thinking of a shot, I feel like I have to create this elaborate cinematic scene and then put the figure with the diorama and the props and the effects. But toy photography can be so much more than that. It could be anything. If you wanna just take your figure out, put it next to a box and shoot a pic and post it, that's cool. That's toy photography. I've really liked doing recently is doing little portraits of different figures. I feel like this is a really good way to experiment and practice with new lights or techniques and even mess around with different settings on your camera. So let's go shoot this guy. So this is our beat up clone trooper that we're gonna be using. He was a custom that I recently did and I really liked the way he came out. So he's already in a nice simple pose. And going into this shot, I just wanted to make sure I got the torso and up. At least that's what I imagine. So I don't really care about his legs or if they look kind of funky. As long as he can stand on his own. I used to primarily shoot on a 50 millimeter lens. And I, I mean, I like the results but I always had this 100 millimeter macro. Lately, I've been really loving it. So also I do have it in portrait orientation, sideways, you know, because Instagram real estate, gotta fight for that stuff. For these shots, I like to try to use only two lights, unless like a, a background third light would be nice. So I have my Loom Cube with a snoot. I've really been liking this combo. And also over here on this workstation, I have this other Loom Cube light. That's called an edge light. It's used for like video conferencing and stuff like that. But hey, this is pretty handy for toy photography. And so I'm gonna have the edge light kind of here, getting this inside of like what's gonna be the right side of the image. And then what this Loom Cube snoot combo is going to do is add some backlight to the back of our trooper. It's gonna give like an extra glow. Because the 100 millimeter is a macro also, I can get really close and the detail usually pops. So I'm gonna start off by kind of getting like the torso shot and then I wanna get one like close up of just his face. So I do have it in this video mode right now. So it might be a little different than uh, like photo setting, but I'm gonna turn off this big overhead light so we can see what we got. I'm also gonna turn off my cool lightsaber lights over here. So let's take away like this light. Let's take away this light. And so that's our image without any light. Pretty good, huh? Just kidding. So boom, let's add this edge key light. And so that's like, so the key light is the main light. So it's gonna do most of the most of the work. So you can see there, it looks kind of cool, but what we're gonna do is add Mr. Snooty Loom Cube over here. Kind of put him back here, behind the trooper again, where I showed you last time. So you can see it kind of gives this light on the side, right, right here. All right, so no extra, boom. Quick tip that I would like to make another video on later is always use manual focus for toy photography. It doesn't have to be always because you're working with such small objects or even like close range. Sometimes the autofocus might pick up the gun or the shoulder pad. And so you don't know exactly the pinpoint focus on. And what usually what you want is gonna be the face. Like in people, it's usually almost always the eye. So we're gonna shoot this guy and then get a little closer and shoot like just his helmet. And let's see what we get. One thing I like to use sometimes for my TikTok posts is cap cut. You can do a cool little effect like this. Doesn't always work out the best, but it's easy, quick. Just makes it pop a little more. That's it for this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.